Good morning, Girard College. This is a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'd like to say welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome to the families that are here, our friends, our colleagues, staff, students, and on behalf of President Turner, just welcome to Girard College on this wonderful day and occasion. Today, we are going to be having the National Honor Society induction and also Senior Jacket Day. It's a long time coming, and I want to congratulate each and every one of you for all of your accomplishments thus far. We are finally here all in the building. This is our second chapel, and we are just so grateful for all you guys to be here. You guys all look wonderful. I'm glad you're all here in your chapel dress looking magnificent. And today, for the National Honor Society, we're going to be honoring those who have sought wisdom and have found some wisdom and are on the path. And for that, sometimes we have prayers. And for right now, we're just going to have a little prayer. You can just bow your head if you'd like to. And we'll just say, God, you who are all-knowing and wise, teach me your ways. I seek your wisdom and insight. I want to have knowledge and understanding. I seek your wisdom so I can walk in the path you laid before me, knowing right from wrong, protecting against temptation and deceit. And for all the rest of us as well, sometimes you may even hear your parents or your grandparents say, God, grant me the, the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Today we are celebrating wisdom and welcome you all. Thank you. Right now I'd like to bring up to the stage our teacher, Ms. Barbara Walsh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, everybody. And good morning to my National Honor Society students. Uh, this is a big day. I have had the privilege of standing up here. This is my fifth time doing this. Um, and the last two years, as everybody in here knows, have not been easy. We have endured the pandemic. Um, and so it's with e even greater excitement that I'm here today with you all and we are present here together. Um, NHS, or the National Honor Society, was started right here in Pennsylvania, actually in the city of Pittsburgh in 1921. Many people, many students often ask, what does NHS do? Um, over the course of five years, we've done many things, service to our community. We have worked for the Ma Ronald McDonald's house. We have done care packages to the homeless community. Um, and other things too. This group before you has now taken on the epidemic of gun violence uh, here in Philadelphia. And on April 26th, they'll be traveling to Harrisburg together to speak face to face with our legislators to hopefully get something done. So that's some of the things NHS does. Um, but my goal is to create an enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to for service to give back to our community, to promote leadership, and to develop the character of each of these individuals you see before you. In order to be accepted and be up here on this stage getting inducted today, our students must go through a rigorous application process. Uh, they are selected by a panel of my colleagues, your teachers and your staff. Um, they must have and they must maintain a high grade point average. They must exhibit outstanding character and contribute to their community in various ways. It's an honor and a recognition worthy uh, of your applause and your recognition, um, which is why we're here today. I do want to say that last year, while we were virtual, Gerard inducted six new members to the National Honor Society. And perhaps, hopefully, some of you watched their virtual induction. But maybe you did not. And because of this, I want to make sure that these fine students feel the pride that we all take in their achievements and make sure that their lights continue to shine as brightly as possible. So as I say your name, please stand, Brianna Frazier Johnson. <laughs> Constance Clark. Jale Brown Gilliam. Isa to George and Janai Wright. 
Gerard, please give a big, big round of applause for these members who have suffered through the pandemic. Thank you. Today, we're here in person, thankfully, to induct two new members of the Gerard chapter of the National Honor Society. Shortly, Soraya Smallwood and... and Christopher Garrison Nelson. will take the pledge of membership, an oath to uphold the qualities of the National Honor Society. The emblem of, emblem of the NHS, as you see before you here, is the keystone and the flaming torch. The keystone symbolizes the high ideals of our society. The flaming torch is the emblem emblem of our purpose, to bear forward the searching light of truth, to lead so that others may follow in the lights, and to serve those purposes symbolized in the torch. I will now pass this torch on to our longest serving member of the National Honor Society, inducted when she was just a sophomore, and she is now an integral member of the class of 2022. Please give it up for Madison Roberts. Good morning, students, staff, faculty, and the talented class of 2022. My name is Madison Roberts, and I have been a member of the National Honor Society since my sophomore year of high school. I joined NHS to be more involved within my school and to stand next to other leaders such as myself. Being part of NHS here at Girard has been an honor, and like Ms. Walsh said, our goal in NHS is to stimulate a desire to render service to promote leadership, and to develop character. Today, we are here to recognize the current and newest members of the National Honor Society. The candle I will now light here before you represents the flaming torch, the emblem of our purpose. The unlighted candles are symbolic of the pillars and requirements upon which membership into the National Honor Society is based. The candle before you represents the flaming torch, the emblem of our purpose. I will now call upon our members to light each candle to represent and explain each pillar of the National Honor Society. Good morning, everyone. I'm, my name is Brianna Frazier, and I am a member of the talented class of 2022. Um, I represent the pillar of leadership as the pillar of the National Honor Society reads, a leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. Uh, I am a proud member of this graduating class. I represent, I'm sorry. A leader is someone who isn't afraid to be different, someone who isn't scared to stand alone on their 10 toes, someone who isn't afraid to go against the grain for the better. Acts of leadership don't have to be tremendous. It could be something as simple as asking a question the rest of the class may be scared to ask or encouraging a friend to step it up when you see them falling behind. My first year becoming a, a, the vice president of my elementary school was in third grade. Yes, me, a tiny, yes, me, a tiny third grader involved in making tremendous decisions that would benefit the entire school. Being involved with the things that affect you and getting to speak on behalf of your peers gave me a feeling of empowerment, a feeling that I wanted to get used to and did. I've held many leadership positions throughout my life Many include roles in student council, captain of my middle school step team, managing different sports, tutoring, and most importantly, my role in the National Honor Society. A leader doesn't think about themselves, but what is best for the group as a whole and what they most would benefit from. A leader is willing to listen to their concerns and issues of the group and advocate on their behalf. I now light the candle of leadership.
My name is Jana. I represent the pillar of character. As the pillar of any chess reads, character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once, and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. Character defines who we are. Having character means having courage and being willing to do the right thing at the right time. Character is not only moral excellence and firmness because excellence is an illusion. I, act, I actively demonstrate character by building myself and developing daily. I'm growing and changing from what, I, from what I used to be and I believe that as long as you do your best and never give up, you will maintain your character. My name is Isotope George. I represent the pillar of scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. To me, scholarship means going the extra mile. Learning isn't just math, science, English, and all your other subjects in school. Learning is also putting time and effort into learning new skills, learning about new cultures, or just picking a topic and studying it. I exercise scholarship every day by being completely open-minded and willing to learn about new things, even when they don't personally affect me. I plan to further my education even after college by continuing to keep this mindset. My name is Constance and I represent the pillar of service. The pillars of leadership, scholarship, and character will be of little use without the desire to serve. Each of us present today can and should use service as a building block in the foundation of our futures. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without recognition or monetary compensation is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and our abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. The pillars I was raised to believe that helping others would in turn benefit you as well. Taught that help should come from pure intentions, even if recognition and gratitude aren't to follow. Showing acts of service don't take much and can actually be very fulfilling. Acts of service for me look like volunteering in the neighborhood, shoveling a neighbor's yard, volunteering at nursing homes, and the list goes on. I feel most happy when showing acts of service because it builds character, something I will hold with me for life. It shows commitment to leadership because I am not afraid to step out on my own to help others in need. I can set good examples for others and show them what it means to serve others through citizenship. I am learning daily how my actions affect others and how I can positively impact their lives by tying into scholarship. The pillars of the National Honor Society are all different, but they are all crucial and are something that will stick with all of the members as we progress through life. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jale Brown Gillian. I represent the pillar of citizenship. Citizenship re represents the fundamental basics of good living, not only in school, but throughout all phases of life. It is the good citizen who sets the example for others to follow and who builds up high standards for the school. It is up to the active and positive citizen to show others the small steps can be powerful. Personally, I define citi citizenship as demonstrating good character and by being a good leader and a role model within my community. 
Traits of good citizenship include speaking up for people that can't speak for themselves. I find that this pillar is necessary in order to build a strong and successful school community. Every community and organization needs a leader who sets a good example for others to follow. And I strive to be that leader, both inside and outside of school. A personal example of me demonstrating this pillar was during the Thanksgiving season. I collaborated with Gerard College Student Council Food Drive and a nearby church annual food distribution project. <clears throat> All I did was make a few phone calls, but 14 families were able to have a full Thanksgiving dinner thanks to the students who brought in food, students who delivered the food, and all the other students who supported by sending in money or helping out the best they could. Not only was that an example for me, but it shows the impact of us, of us leaders have on our community once we put our minds to it. Our new inductees will now take the oath. I now ask Soraya Smallwood and Christopher Garrison Nelson to please stand. Please raise your right hands and repeat after me. I, being aware of the honor, I, being aware of the honor which is being bestowed upon me, which is being bestowed upon me by, my selection for membership by my selection for membership in the National Honor Society, in the National honor Society. do hereby pledge Loyalty to, this organization. loyalty to this organization, it shall be my earnest purpose, it shall be my earnest purpose. To, give unsparingly of my time to give unsparingly of my time and energy, and energy toward, the promotion of all school activities. toward the promotion of all school activities. I will strive to be at all times, I will strive to be at all times a model student, a model student and will never knowingly bring reproach upon my school. I pledge to uphold, I pledge to uphold the, high purpose of this society the high purpose of this society for which I have been selected, for which I have been selected striving, in every way, striving in every way by word and deed, by word and deed to, make its ideals, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and my life. The ideals of my school and my life. Congratulations. My name is Soraya Smaud. I'm a current sophomore and I've been at Gerard since fifth grade. Firstly, I would like to express my gratitude and say how truly honored I am to have been inducted into the National Honor Society. Since middle school, I've been drawn to the society's pillars and hope to one day join. It is an honor to now be a part of an association dedicated to serving the community around them. Since joining, I've been blessed with additional opportunities to interact with the Gerard community. Through these opportunities, I've been able to develop and improve my leadership, service, and communication skills. I would like to say thank you again to Ms. Walsh and my fellow NHS members for presenting Christopher and myself with the opportunity to be a National Honor Society member. Thank you. Um, good morning, everybody. Hi. Um, my name is Christopher Garrison Nelson. I've been here since second grade. Um, I'm a sophomore and I'm the class of 2024. Um, I first want to say how honored and proud I am to be a part of this occasion and another thank you to Ms. Walsh and the other established members of the NHS um, for guiding Soraya and I through this process. I wanted to join the National Honor Society to further convey leadership and the other Gerard core values throughout my academic career and increase my involvement in the Gerard community. Within my first months of being in the National Honor Society, I've learned so much already. I've learned more about collaboration and what it means to be a part of a whole. I also learned about the five pillars of NHS, leadership, character, scholarship, service, and citizenship, and how all of these values are the foundation of a well-rounded individual who will excel in society. While being a part of the National Honor Society, I hope to learn much more and continue to engage and be a part of this wonderful community. 
I would like to say thank you again to Ms. Walsh and the other NHS members. Thank you. Madison and I will now present uh, pins and certificates to our new members. Uh, mm, here you are. <laughs> but I'm also going to relight that candle. Mr. Dory Mohar, middle school music teacher and middle school percussion ensemble.
have the distinct privilege of presenting, uh, being part of a team, presenting the senior jackets to our beloved seniors. Let's give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Much like many of the traditions, young folks, these will be uh, you in a couple of years. And in less than, well, just over two months, the next time I get to call all your names will be at graduation. So very exciting time. This is almost like a rehearsal. I'm going to need some help to present these jackets, so we have some members of the faculty here to help us with it. Please join me on stage. Thank you very much. All right. In order, we will call you up to come receive your jacket. Let's begin with Kaylin Davis. Our next recipient, Constance Quintina, otherwise known as Cece Clark. Our next recipient, Fantasia Stone. Our next recipient, Vivica Ortiz. Our next recipient, Faith Lynn. Thank you, Ms. Perez. Mr. Horn. All right, gentlemen. Let's welcome Jair Hampton up to the stage. And now, Mr. Christian Sayankin. Our next recipient, Yandel Cirillo. Yeah. 
our next recipient, Duran Highland. Thank you, Duran. Uh, and now, Michael Akaturo. If you'll join me. Let's welcome Brianna Frazier back to the stage. Let's welcome Madison Roberts to the stage again. Our next recipient, Aaliyah Armani Burton. All right, now let's welcome Dakota Williams. Thank you, Donia. Madam G, thank you very much. All right, gentlemen. Let's welcome Reginald Brasby III. And now I'd like to present Jameer Harris.
Let's welcome to the stage, Samuel Okuriki. And last and certainly not least, Mr. Christian C.J. Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one last time for the class of 2022. I'm going to turn it over now to President Mr. Turner. AJ, I think we just got a preview of what commencement's gonna be like in 64, 64 short days when we say goodbye to the class of 2022. Those jackets are a good look, they're fire. Y'all look good. Uh, I wanted to make sure before we left today and got on with the business of Wednesday that we uh, said a huge thank you and showed our gratitude to the amazing Barbara Walsh for the work that she's done with the National Honor Society. Ms. Walsh? <laughs> awesome, awesome sauce. Thank you, thank you. If you um, are the family member of one of our uh, National Honor Society students, could you please stand? We want to make sure we recognize all the family members who came out today. There we go. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who came out and had breakfast this morning, and congratulations to you and your, um, your students for the work they did to get into the National Honor Society. I also want to make sure we recognize uh, one of our colleagues in the room today who, without him, we would not have an athletic season of any kind of any kind. And he, he's, uh, he's always really shy. He doesn't want to get any recognition. I hope that you stand CD, Mr. Corey Durkin. But let's please give it up for Corey Durkin. Oh my goodness. CD in the building. CD in the building. Thank you so much, Corey. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Did everybody see Yandel that play at shortstop yesterday when he, that bang bang play? Did y'all see that yesterday? <laughs> the way he snagged it and then threw the guy out of first base, that was, that was kind of dope. That was kind of dope. Softball today, yeah, Ms. Walsh? Okay, softball home game today. We've got, we've got next week, uh, keep supporting our Cavaliers as they uh, get through their, their athletic season. We've got a track meet coming up on the 21st, so athletics is going to continue, going to continue here at school. And today, first to fifth grade has soccer. First to fifth grade today on the, uh, on the soccer field. They'll be playing today. I, I want to make sure we emphasize the importance of students in grades one through eight at being at a chapel like today, where we honor the students in the National Honor Society and we honor our seniors in the class of 2022. They need to know what's coming. They need to know what's coming. And thanks to you, 
and that amazing performance by the middle school band, our first through eighth graders, they know what's coming. They can see the light at the end of the tunnel because of the work that you all did. Thank you very much. Have an amazing rest of your day. Where's our Mr. Eton? You're going to lead us through hell, Gerard, my brother. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Hail Gerard, our alma mater, noble, fair, and strong. Cradle meet for civic virtue, praise her with a song. First thou art in worth and beauty, first in our regard. Sing we then our alma mater, mother dear Gerard. Children of the great republic, lovers of the flag be starred. Mighty masters of the future, swell the chorus. Shine.